Hi everybody, it is Nat here and today I'm going to quickly show you how you can import a audio file from an external source into GarageBand. Uh, normally in other digital audio workstations you can simply go File, Import, Audio File, um, but in GarageBand it doesn't give you that option. It's actually uh, a fair bit simpler. You just find the file that you want. In this case I have mine on the desktop, uh, or you can open up your finder and locate the file, and you just drag this file into GarageBand. I'm going to create a new track where I can pop this file. I'm going to hit the plus button and select audio track. And then, so there it is there, the audio track down the bottom. So I need to be able to drag this window to the side. And If you have it full screened like this, you won't be able to drag it. You just need to make sure you click this little green button here drag it to one side then I simply click on that and hold and drag that down and then let go when I'm on the um, track that I just created and that's how you import the audio file into your GarageBand session and when you go file save and you save your GarageBand session um, that file will be saved within uh, the GarageBand session folder. And you can also add this loop to your Apple Loops library to use at a later time by opening up your Apple Loops library here. O is the shortcut for that. And you do another drag and drop. You click, hold, and then see how there's a little plus that appears there. You can then add this loop in here. I'm going to call this Nat's Guitar Loop 88 Beats Per Minute. And then it's now going to do a bounce of that file and save it in there. So I can find that by typing Nats there. Um, I think I put an apostrophe in this particular case. There we go. Nats guitar loop, 88 bits per minute. And I can drag that in and use that in any other session. And that's now a part of my permanent Apple Loops library. Uh, now, the other thing that you should know, I was looking for a loop to use in this session. This session is already 88 beats per minute. And I was able to find this Creative Commons loop of a little guitar being strummed. Uh, and I found this on, let's have a look here, uh, freesound.org. So I just typed in 88 beats per minute drum loop. And you have to, this is a free website. You have to register to use it, but it's totally free. And most of the sounds that are on this website are all under the Creative Commons or the attribution license, so you're free to use them as long as you attribute the original uh, person, or a lot of them are non-attributed. You can just use them as much as you want. So I found a little guitar strum that was 88 beats per minute. That's how you import an audio file. And uh, if you would like to learn how to use GarageBand for Mac, I have a course uh, available. Let's have a look where I've got it here. Uh, here it is. On Udemy, um, this is the complete guide to using GarageBand. I put a lot of time and effort into this course, and it's been getting some really great feedback. I'm going to create a coupon uh, for you to get this course uh, half price. At the moment, it's already on sale because of the Black Friday time of the year and the Cyber Monday. But if you happen to miss out on those sales, uh, I will leave a coupon that's valid for 31 days from the up time of upload of this video uh, to get the course at half price. And if you found this video helpful, make sure that you subscribe to this channel uh, for future tutorials or leave a comment or a like, and I'll see you in the next video.